Welcome to BK Gardens. Today's episode is about how to protect your food from critters, insects, birds that want to eat your food that you've worked hard to grow. They should not get it before you get a chance to either give it away or eat it yourself. The biggest thing and frustration of gardeners is after you've done all the work of you know, getting your soil right, getting your plants lined up in terms of soil needs, um, water, sun, is to have these critters come in, whether that's deer in the suburbs or here in Brooklyn, you have squirrels, birds, and actually we're in the middle of COVID-19, we have a ton of uh, rats coming off the main avenues. We're off of Fifth Avenue because a lot of the restaurants are closed right now and they're getting more aggressive looking for food. So what I want to do today is give you three methods to protect your food and keep your greens, fruit, whatever else you're growing safe. First one is very DIY, cheap solution. All these solutions are pretty cheap, is uh, old chicken wire. This I did with um, a combination of bought a uh, thing of a chicken wire and then uh, some PVC piping about three quarters inch and then two by two um, pretty light wood just a simple nail connecting these untreated wood as always for this and then really just built a few hoops for this thing so three hoops meshed it over to the top and this thing has been great here we have my kale the kale is totally protected um, you know this season is the first year I'm growing kale in here but you know through this in um, the seeds down no squirrels got in or any other creatures this spring and the, th the garden is thriving the pros of um, doing a chicken wire is it's definitely strong like no rats gonna chew through it or um, squirrel unless that squirrel is like MacGyver and has a way of cutting through uh, this mesh very hard to do um, hey the cons against it hey this is not gonna help you for invasive insects, they're gonna get at it. The kale has actually done pretty great. Not, not a lot of um, insects have gotten to this thing. They're, they're actually thriving completely. But um, if you do want to protect it versus uh, insects, you're gonna to wanna to look at a different approach. But this one is great. Another slightly negative is like, hey, this thing is pretty light, easy to get in at. It's for harvesting. You know, once you build something like this, it does make it a little bit harder to get access to your food quick harvesting because I'm harvesting basically every night for fresh salad uh, that's the only negative but the pro is uh, pros far outweigh the negatives on this and I've actually built a lot of these over the years I'll show you a few more examples uh, great option next option is bird netting so let's go take a look okay second option for protecting your fruits and vegetables is bird netting Bird netting is pretty amazing stuff. This stuff is, um, I bought it for like 50 bucks. I have 100 feet of it, more than I need for the whole garden. But the great thing about this was last multiple seasons. Like this is my raspberry bed, very excited about it. So are the uh, robins and blue jays and cardinals that have been scouting this for like the last six weeks. These things um, cannot get into this. This is really, the benefits of bird netting is it's super easy just draping it over my trellis here uh, really lightweight so easy to get in to access the fruit um, pretty porous though this is um, not gonna allow uh, or prevent insects invasive insects will get in here but for birds or even squirrels um, pretty fantastic for keeping them out and uh, keeping your fruit safe last um, method of protection I'll show you is some veggie mesh let's go take a look so last but not least is veggie mesh. This stuff is pretty incredible, very durable. It will last actually multiple seasons. I've had this a couple seasons, very cheap. I'll put links below, 15 bucks for a, like a really good size pieces of this that you can cut up and I've actually used across multiple beds. Um, benefits of veggie mesh is that this will prevent uh, invasive insects from getting in. Um, very fine mesh here still plenty of room for getting water in and plenty of sunlight but will protect or create a really protective uh, high quality barrier from insects getting in and will also like my primary purpose is hey i don't want invasive insects getting at my garden bed but uh, also i don't want 
primarily here in Brooklyn. Squirrels or rats getting in there, they're pretty heinous. And trust me, they want this kale and these uh, wonderful sun gold tomato uh, seedlings. But what I'll do is, the great thing about this is that it's super easy to use. You can see here, I don't even have a hoop system set up. Just uh, two stakes, some jars, just to prevent uh, tearing of the fabric. And then just throw it, lay it over. It's super light, so even if it hits the uh, plants, it's not gonna really do damage. Uh, throw it over, and then I can, you can weight it down just with simple log or rocks that you have sitting around, and you are good to go. So those are my tips about how do you protect your veggies and fruits from critters, whether that's deer in the suburbs or here in Brooklyn, those tough Brooklyn squirrels and rats coming off Fifth Avenue. If you have comments or suggestions, please hit me up. I want to know how you're doing it cheaper and better. If this is helpful at all, please hit like or subscribe. From Brooklyn on a beautiful summer afternoon, this is Sean Duggan. See you soon.